All right. <clears throat> so P2, car number nine. Good qualifying. First qualifying with the qualifying setup and it worked out just fine. Uh, lots of cars without a time, especially number five and six. They might be faster and um, maybe thinking about plowing through the grid. I don't know. Nicholas, I remember him of um, driving pretty uh, decent and uh, patient. So hopefully there's no one who's going to dive bomb on the first lap. Let's go. And of course I hope that this one will be more fun and uh, lasting longer than the last race. <coughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. I definitely need a new wheel. Off track. Gearbox just is not working as intended. On the wheel, I mean. 
on the T150. Steven is a bit faster than me. No off track. Nicholas made a mistake. Jersey.
I'm not pushing, I'm kind of cruising, I'm trying to minimize my error potential, which is pretty high. Steven is probably doing the same. just takes one mistake by him to take the lead or by me which is by far more probable just trying to avoid those slowdowns Always dangerous, this chicane. Thank you. 
Oof. For a fraction of a second I was thinking about losing a car. was close. Not close enough yet. Just do your thing, Graham. If I want to start pushing, I should be in right now. But maybe I just should try to bring this P2 at home. I think that is what uh, that would be the wise thing to do.
tires are wearing. Lap 13. Just bring it home. Come on! No slowdowns here on the chicane. Two laps to go.
To lose the car right now would be just plain stupid. Not pushing. Just conservative. Last lap coming up. I can't believe it. He threw it away. He threw it away. Oh my god. Fucking unbelievable. He threw it away in the last lap. Those last laps, it is not easy. <laughs> Is it true? Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yes! Fucking hell. He must have thrown it away in the asses. Probably. Oh man. I wasn't really uh, thinking about winning this one. Oh dear. Let's look at it. Have to see that. Oh man. Poor Steven. Ah, oh, he's already locked out. Okay, let's look at it. This last lap. Uh, from his perspective would be... Would make much more sense. This last lap. Comfortably in the lead. About seven seconds. He was the faster driver over the uh, course of the whole race. He had the fast uh, qualifying time. He should have won it, actually, definitely. And then in the last lap. He just threw it away. Unbelievable. Oh man. Ah. Oh fuck.
Oh, that is painful. <laughs> it's painful to watch. <laughs> because um, I have to be honest, it is painful to watch because exactly these are the things that happen to me quite often this season. Not being in the lead, but uh, being in good position and then throwing away just for no reason at all. That is the classic move. Would have been the classic move for me, but not this time. This time I prevailed and won the race. That means that, well, I just have to check that out in a, in a few seconds, in a few minutes. What that means to the um, standings, overall standings in the Division 5. But first of all, let's look at the uh, start of the race. I was in the first um, row on the left side. Steven goes in. And we had a little contact here with um, uh, Niklas. Niklas was, uh, had a good start, was a bit aggressive here on the inside. Let's look at it. Trying to sneak through. I left him room. I think I left him enough room. We touched. Mm, could I have done something different? I, I don't know. I mean, look at that. I leave him really lots of room here and then I have to go inside to get myself in position for the next corner so I don't see what I could have done differently. Uh, fortunately nothing really happened, it was just a 2x collision I think and for both of us no harm done. And then uh, I have to say that um, in this first lap I was faster. Um, Steven was very careful in the first lap with those uh, code ties and I was seeing that in those first corners and um, keeping a bit of distance to minimize the possibility of a punt so everything cool so far uh, Nicholas in position behind me And that was that, really. So what are we going to do, because the race panned out like that, and um, in the end, of course, in the last lap, I took the lead, but till then it was pretty much uh, a straightforward race. But what we are going to do is look at those incidents, what happened to the other guys. Uh, go back to the start. And okay, that of course being the first incident. Okay, this one definitely uh, Cho's fault. Cho being this one here, number five. No, 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 no. Here, Cho got punted by. Julian Alvarez. Yeah. A bit too optimistic. <laughs> but, oh my god. <laughs> he paid for it. He paid for it. Okay. That was that. Julian. Mm hmm. Minus 16 laps. That was his race. What did he do? He tried to... <laughs> well... <clears throat> Adrian Asper. 
Ah, uh, losing the car under braking on the chicane. Uh, then what happens next? Timo totally get punted by number three. Number three cars, Mathieu Charret. Probably French. France. France. Um, actually nothing what uh, number 13 Timo could do. He got fucked. Big time. And then again. Did he finish? Minus 13 laps. That was his race. Unfortunate. Mathieu was going and finished in P8. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did Nicholas um, finish? In P4. Cool. Yeah. Happens. Happens. All right. Welcome to low split racing. But all those mistakes uh, could have happened to me and have been happening to me before. So nothing special. Of course, always looks kind of cartoonish. And a bit stupid, but believe me, if you're not used to driving this car, those things happen all the time. Can happen all the time, very, very, very fast. Cho, he finished in P9. Graham, P10 in the end, that's a slowdown. Tobias in P6. Lots of unforced errors, so to speak. And that's Steven's last lap. Breaks, mental breakdown. Mm. Mm, Jersey, what did he do? A donut? <laughs> What is Jersey doing? Is it after the finish line? Yes, 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 of course. Okay, so that was that. We go into uh, the standings. Very, very curious to see how it pans out. And I hope that I gained some points, at least solidified my P2 in the standings. Uh, meaning the uh, championship standings but first of all well look at that plus one point oh point one nine safety rating how many uh, incident points one just one incident and oh point one nine safety rating gained that's not much uh, I rating by uh, far better, uh, plus 86, and the championship points, 77 points, meaning I had, in the second race, I had 60 points. So, so far, this race should count, and that means, mm, hopefully, it's already... Uh, Yes, it is in. That means I am standing at 522 uh, championship points. Uh, Pavel still way in front. Probably won't be able to catch him. Nah. Definitely not. It's still 38 points. I mean, I don't see how I, c how I could do that. But 
Um, Joseph, he's at 504. And um, still there are some drivers who could um, gain some points, especially the ones who haven't uh, scored eight weeks already. Lars, for example. And a few other guys. So that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. I will be um, probably stream again uh, tomorrow. Uh, if you are seeing this on YouTube, um, jump over to Twitch, say hello if you want to, if you like to. And uh, mm, next week um, we are going to Sebring for the last race of the season. And um, after that week we ha will have the final championship point standings uh, and see if I can make it to the podium. So far, so good. Guys, take care and uh, have a good weekend. Bye-bye.